Okay. Uh, what I'm going to demonstrate here in this video is how to do um, action reaction for new speed to avoid. Okay. This is for new speed to avoid NSA. This is what we're doing. This was the paper plot that we did in lab uh, on uh, week eight, the week we got back from break. If you're okay. Anyway. So to do this, to do any of this action reaction stuff, first of all, you start off as normal. You collect all your R's, so you plot your R's for all your targets, okay? And while you're waiting the six minutes to get your M's, you plot all your E's. So right now we're going 20 knots, zero, zero, zero. So we plotted an M for target one, and there was an E for that, 20, okay? And plotted R and E, and R and E, and R and E. And then six minutes later, we got our next uh, <clears throat> range and bearing on the target, and we plotted our M's, all right? So we plotted our M's, and we ended up with these relative motion, uh, we ended up with these triangles, okay? Relative motion triangles. Um, and uh, anyway, then we said, hey, you know what? This problem, this target one, it's on our starboard bow, has a CPA zero, it's the, part, it's the problem target, but we're the burden vessel, so we're the one that's gonna have to make a course change or a speed change. Okay, so we said, hey, you know what, let's wait till it's six miles. We had an MX of six, okay, MX of six, all right, and a CPA of two. All right, so we go two, four, six, and we say we want a CPA of two. So at this MX, okay, we're going to alter course or change our speed, and we're going to create this relative motion line. Well, the question becomes, first thing we want to do is, is we want to figure out, what time is that MX going to be, okay? So to figure that out, what I can do is I can measure the distance R to M, okay? R to M, and I can just flip it over and look at that. If that was 6, that means that this MX is going to happen at 12 minutes, okay? So what I want to do now is, um, is I need to decide, am I going to change my course or am I going to change my speed? In this problem, I'm going to change my speed, okay? So I was doing 0, 0, 0 at 20 knots, okay? But this is my new relative motion line that I'd want to have happen. I bring that up into my triangle. This is the relative motion line here. And so my new speed would be from here to here, okay? And so that's going to be about, uh, if I measure that, I think that's about 9 knots. So if I go, if I reduce from 20 knots to 9 knots, okay, I should... What is that? Yeah, that's about yeah eight knots, okay? If at minute 12 I reduce my speed to eight knots, the relative motion of that target is going to change to this. Well, the question becomes, what's that going to do to target two? What's that going to do to target three? What's that going to do to target four? Okay, well, we're going to figure that out. First thing we want to do is we want to figure out where on the relative motion line these targets are going to be at minute 12. The easiest one to start with is maybe this one. This is relative motion line. This is time zero. This is time zero, six. Well, where will this target be on its relative motion line at time 12? Well, it's just going to be twice the zero, six. Okay, so there. So I can make a little tick mark right there. Okay, and this is where the target's going to be at minute 12. Now, why did I choose that? Okay, uh, why did I choose that? Because that is when I'm going to make my course change. I am going to take a react. I'm going to take an action. At minute 12, I'm going to slow down to eight knots. That is going to have an a, a reaction of causing the relative motion line of target one to change like this. My question is, how is that going to change these other targets? So I have to figure out where MX is going to be along all these relative motion lines. So that was six minutes. That's 12. So let's do target four. How far did this? How what was the distance of relative motion? Okay, in six minutes for that target, okay? So that was this, okay, R to M. That was six, so where's it gonna be at 12? It's gonna be here, okay? So this is gonna be MX, but I'm gonna go ahead and just call it 12 minutes, okay? Minute 12. Okay, how about this one, RM. So this vessel, that same course, same speed, there was no relative motion, so MX is gonna happen here as well. Okay, what I've done now is, is I figured out where all these targets are going to be on their own relative motion lines using their own relative motion speeds at minute 12. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is 
I know that I'm going to be reducing my speed from E to R to E to R prime. Okay? So what I've got to do now is I've got to take this new relative, this new re uh, motion line. This, this is not uh, E to R is hour. This is our, we're still going to be going north, but we're going to be going north at 8 knots. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my motion now and I'm going to bring it to all the targets. Now, remember, the, tar the, uh, the true course of these vessels and the true speed of these vessels is not going to change. E to M is them. That vessel is still going to be making, if that's 20, that let me looks to, I don't know, that's about 15 or something like that. And if that looks to me like that guy's still going to be going about 15 knots at about 036. That vessel is not changing course or speed. I am changing speed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ER line, all right, and I'm going to bring it on my ER prime. I'm going to transfer it over here, okay? So... That's the distance I'm going to go. I'm going to go on the course of 0, 0, 0. Well, that's not the, this is still 0, 0, 0. I'm just not going to go from E to R. I'm going to go to E to R prime. All right. So right here is R prime prime. Okay. And this is going to be E to R prime prime. Right there. That's R prime prime. And this is going to be E not e to r, that was when I was doing 20, now I'm going to be doing 8 knots, e to r prime prime. Okay? Now, I'm going to make a new triangle. All right? This line here, e to m, that is the true motion of the other target. Okay? And uh, that is not changing. My speed is changing from e to r. My 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 uh, my speed is going to be reduced, all right? So I'm going to be doing E R prime prime now, okay? So if you look at this, here's E R prime prime. That's my motion. Here's E to M. That's their motion. This is not yet a triangle. How am I going to make it a triangle? I've got to draw on the third leg, which is R M, but it's not R M. It's R prime prime M, okay? So what I do now is I'm going to draw in this line. This is going to be the relative motion line if I slow down. Okay? If I slow down, that target is going to follow this relative motion line. If I don't change anything, it's going to follow this one. But as soon as I slow down, it's going to follow this. Well, the question is, when will the relative motion line switch from this to this? It's going to be at minute 12 when I change my speed. So all I have to do is take that line, okay, and bring it to MX, all right, which is minute 12 now, and I can draw it like this, all right? Now, for the first 12 minutes, the target's going to follow here, but as soon as I slow down, the target's going to start to follow this. And the question is, what's the new CPA, and when is it going to happen? figure that out, I'm going to draw a line perpendicular to my relative motion line through the center. And it looks to me like the CPA should happen right about there. Okay? So, how long did it take me to get to here? 12 minutes. How long is it going to take me to get from here to there? Well, what I'm going to use is the new relative motion speed. That's R prime prime M. So, I'm going to measure that here. All right, let me get that there. That looks pretty good. So, that's 6, 12, 18, 24. Okay, so that's 6, 12, 18, 24. It's halfway between. I'm going to say it's about 21 minutes. Okay, so uh, 12 minutes and 21 minutes is 3. That looks to me it's going to happen in about 33 minutes. Okay, so the new time of CPA for target 3 should be about, um, the new time for target 3 should be about minute 33.
Okay, what's the new CPA for that target? Well, let's just measure it. Looks to me like it's just a little bit over seven. Uh, looks like it's 7.1 nautical miles. Okay, great, that one's done. Now, let's do this vessel, okay? Well, uh, up until minute 12, R to M, that's 6, that's 12. But then I'm going to slow down. So I'm not doing R to M. I'm going to be doing R prime prime to M. That's going to be the speed of relative motion. So I can go ahead and I can measure that. And then at minute 12, I'll go 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, so it's going to be between 48 and 54, okay, so 48 and 40, 54, that looks to me like that's going to be about 52, okay, that's about, looks to me that's about minute 52, and I had 12 minutes before that, so I get 464, so you should get a number around 60-ish. Okay, so let's just, I think I might have, I think I may have, my distance might have been a little off, but if you're, as long as your number's around 60-ish, that's good enough for today. So I'm going to say my new time of CPA is at minute 64. My CPA, however, didn't change. It's still whatever it originally was, okay, which is about mm, 1.8 or so, okay? Now this guy... E to R, E to M, that was when I was doing 20 knots going to north. Looks like they were doing 20 knots going to the north. But I'm now slowing down. I'm doing E to R prime prime. They're still doing E to M. Like they're going twice as fast as we are, which means they're now going to start to overtake us. So I have to draw my relative motion line now in the direction that they're going because they're overtaking us now. And I can figure out my CPA. Okay, here we go. There's my CPA. My CPA, the distance of my CPA for target two should be, looks like it's about three miles. Okay, yeah, 2.93, something like that, whatever. Okay, when's the new time of CPA going to be? Well, in this new relative motion line, I'm going to be going R prime prime to M. Okay, so there we go. I'll measure that. And that is 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Looks to me like that is, uh, well, that's uh, 6, 12, 18, 24, uh, 25, 26. I'd say it's like 26 or 27. Let's say 26. So that is 26 and 12 from the beginning. Okay, from the beginning. Uh, that's 838. Okay? And that's how you do action-reaction with new speed to avoid.